dear SMA members, associates and friends. Here we are on 8 December, the founding date of our missionary family, the Society of African Missions. In Rome, we are celebrating with a particular joy around uh, a son of the Ivory Coast, Bishop Ignace Bessy, Archbishop of Abidjan, who was made a cardinal on 7 December by Pope Francis. Bishop Brésillac, our venerable founder, wrote to Cardinal Barnabo on 13 December 1856. On the day of the Immaculate Conception, seven of us went to offer our society to the Blessed Virgin at the feet of her venerated image on the hill of Fourvière. There we renewed our resolution to devote ourselves entirely to the work of the African missions. And we wish, if the sacred congregation allows, to date the existence of our society to 8 December 1856. This makes 168 years. For the record, among those seven were one brother, three seminarians, all four left after a few months. The three priests were Bishop Brésillac, Father Raymond and Father Planck. The first two died three years later in Freetown. Only Father Planck remained for more than 50 years as the only witness to this event, which we celebrate uh, with, with gratitude every 8 December. On 1st May 2025, next year in Benin Republic, together with the OLA sisters, we will open the journey called En Route to 2026, which celebrates the 200 years anniversary of the birth of Father Planck, 150 years anniversary of the foundation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Apostles, and uh, 170 years anniversary of the foundation of the SMA. In this last year, 19 SMA members left this earthly life. Two of them were in their 50s, Father Francisco Bautista Paco, of the province of Spain and Father Pola Megashi of the province of Togo. 26 members were ordained priests and 11 took their permanent oath. I would like to point out that among the latter is the first permanent member of the Angolan delegation. According to statistics recently provided by Father Dominic, we currently have around 370 seminarians in initial formation plus another 70 in the preparatory program. With a view to optimizing, optimizing the capacity of a number of formation houses, a project is underway to have a philosophy house for the country of East Africa and to devote the whole of the house in Nairobi to theology. The initial formation of so, of so many young people, the support for our conference in the place of primary evangelization, and the financial resources that these two activities require will be at the center of our forthcoming second, 22nd General Assembly, which will be held near Rome from 18 May to 8 June 2025. You already know the theme set apart for announcing the gospel in Africa, with Africa and from Africa. Thank you for the good work done by each unit on the questionnaire proposed by the Preparatory Commission. And thank you to the Preparatory Commission for preparing the responses and summaries for the members of the Assembly. These members are already known, 27 as officio members, 29 elected members and one permanent MVT, the Borsa General. A series of seven monthly Zoom video conferences has already begun for them. These are a precious help in finding out uh, about the state of the society and becoming aware of its resources and challenges. The assembly is a high point in the life of our society. It is also a living witness to synodality in its preparation, celebration and reception. 
we are all committed to invoking the Lord through the prayer composed for the General Assembly 2025. I would like to end this message with a reflection based on this prayer. It is addressed to the Lord, the prayer. You sustain us always in your tender love despite our fragilities. One of our members asked me why we wrote despite our fragilities instead of thanks to our fragilities. He wanted to emphasize that the success of our mission is not directly linked to our human capacity, to the development of our skills and our zeal. The experience of the Apostle Peter, whom Jesus asked three times, Do you love me? after this betrayal, and that of Paul, who cried out, For when I am weak, then I am strong, show us that the mission is the Lord's mission, not ours. It is up to us to trust him and to recognize his work, which precedes us, converts us. This is how we become pilgrims of hope, as the Jubilee year that is about to begin invites us to do. Happy 8th December. Happy feast in joy and gratitude, in forgiveness given and received, in the joyful discovery that uh, we are an international missionary family set apart to proclaim the gospel in Africa, with Africa and from Africa. Happy feast to all of you.